canvas right now is quite literally happening moment by moment. It's more than just like hanging art on a wall, putting a DJ in a corner. This is like taking it a step further. There's just so, so much expression that is not yet out in this city. And I, I, I want to help that be out, you know? From the beginning of Canvas, I knew that I wanted it to be a Chicago project. I wanted it to be a project that was a part of the fabric of this city and part of the fabric of the young creative culture in this city and to prove to myself that we're capable of more. Canvas is a community of like-minded artists and creative professionals that collaborate with one another to create uncommon event experiences that merge art and technology in a way that pushes the boundaries of how we are capable as a community of expressing ourselves. running DIY artist spaces since college, kind of as a vehicle for displaying and producing artwork. After college, I, I spent a lot of time working with musicians, but more on the business side. And I was just kind of slowly developing an understanding of, of myself. And at some point, I knew that, that I was ready enough to go back home to Chicago and, and start creating some roots and start diving in deeper. Canvas kind of started as a collaboration between myself and Preston Jones. I've always kind of assumed more of the technical and creative direction, whereas uh, Preston has been more of the community and operations director. Any artist who is attempting to build and develop their own work needs that team, needs that community. Nothing really happens in a vacuum anymore. The myth of the one-man army is, is coming to an end. Oh my. I actually went and met them because I was gonna do some video work for them and I was inside the space and went to a couple of their events and really just kind of vibed with the community and really liked what they were all about until eventually I moved in. <laughs> so, and that was kind of one of my first uh, real studios. That is like such a work-oriented, you know, artistic-driven space. And it just kind of just quickly turned into constant creation. The first thing I would say about my relationship with Lefty and Vincent is that they're some of the most inspiring relationships I have. And it's not because we're the best of friends. We aren't, you know? The three of us are very different people. In this weird, unspoken, very difficult to, to pinpoint way, we agree with each other about, about what life is, what the point of it is, and, and what we are capable of doing with it. The most important thing to me, as far as Canvas is concerned, is proving to people that these ideas that they have in their own mind must be possible, because we're literally doing it. It's so important, particularly in the city of Chicago. We're a city that is caught in a place of thinking that we do inferior work to places like New York and LA when all we have to do is prove to each other that progressive work, important work, inspiring work is totally capable of being done here. I think that there is an intense need for community and expression, and a lot of that has been able to be fueled through the campus community through larger event concepts such as Subchroma.
So Chroma is an event that is mostly concerned with this intersection between mediums. Creative coding, virtual reality, painting, dancing, projection. A nightlife experience, sure, but not just a, a DJ or a band on stage. The first sub chroma that we did was a lefty solo show. I've been with Canvas for about two and a half years. I produced the first sub chroma, and it's just so crazy going from small, like having it start at Canvas, to having it grow so much. What Subchroma is striving to do is a natural you know, step in the evolutionary process of marrying the analog street art and graffiti with virtual reality. Part of what I'm hoping to accomplish with Subchroma is demonstrate that virtual reality is a viable art-specific platform. Typically, I'm used to working on a 2D plane something flat or something with a little bit of dimension. VR, you're talking, you know, unlimited space. This technology is still super fresh. I think the possibilities are crazy exciting right now as a tool for art and for expression, for connection, for empathy, and just as a way to have access to the surreal and to resources that could never exist in physical space. It's necessary to demonstrate that there's potential beyond porn and movies <laughs> for virtual reality. I know I'm doing what I meant to do, but I kind of feel doomed to it because if I don't do it, I'll be, I won't be alive. And, and doing it is horribly difficult. <laughs> When you have certain relationships in your life, it's the same thing, right? You don't, you don't know what it is that's drawing you to this person. You don't know why you care so much, but, but it's, it's the essence of who you are uh, that is pulling you into a deeper relationship with, with this person. Because you know, you just know, the, the deepest parts of you know that you are going to be, you're going to understand life more because of this relationship. And that's the relationship I have with Chicago. It's just, I believe in it so much. We have a reputation. People already know what we bring to the table. So I think it's really going to be important when we take it elsewhere so we can show people, hey, this is what Chicago's doing. Check us out. There's a ton of talent in Chicago. It's just really important to build on what we have, the momentum that we have here, as opposed to all of that talent kind of vacuuming out to the coasts. We can actually support the art that's happening on the scene and continue to grow and develop that. The problem is people leaving and not representing for Chicago. People have to go out there so the rest of the community can reach that. If nobody makes those first steps, we're just gonna stay right here. Subchroma, I think, is accomplishing what we're all like yearning for, where it's a deeper experience. These people, including myself, go to events to experience something new and experience something unique. Human expression is evolution. You showing what you see to others gives them a little bit deeper understanding of how to be alive. And if you can do it effectively, you can get really good at expressing things. You can get really good at evolving people. That's what drives me. If you can curate an experience where every single person that is involved is expressing themselves, you fill the room with life connection. That's the kind of atmosphere that I thrive in and I'm inspired by, you know, when all these people are coming together in order to make something that's bigger than themselves. I think a lot of music festivals bring a lot of energy together and smoosh it all up and it explodes and people leave, leave feeling flat and drained because all of the energy popped. can slow that experience down a little bit and people can just go 
This is not an emotional state. I'm not like breaking up with my girlfriend. I'm feeling all of the feels because I can see it. I can take, grab it out of the air. I don't want people to walk away being like, Canvas throws really great parties or Canvas throws really artistic events even. When I think we've done a good job, it's a very, very low, calm vibration that people leave going, I gotta revisit that thing that I thought I could do because it, it must be possible. <laughs>